Good day to you, one and all. It is I, Justin Hawkins, uh, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Yeah, how comes he's all dressed up and he's like not showing that much flesh? Well, today isn't about me. Today is about Lenny Kravitz, and he adores taking his clothes off and showing us all how brilliant his body is, even despite, you know, what some people consider to be his advancing years. I mean, he just seems to look better and better. He's almost got as good a six pack as me at the moment. It's really quite outstanding. Um, and I'd say he's doing all right. Um, and I think he's showcasing that in this new video that everyone's talking about uh, for the song TK421. Came out on the 12th of October, and I'm going to react to it exactly now. Justin Hawkins writes again, again. Doesn't, doesn't really work like that, but, you know, you get the picture. Anyway, Lenny Kravitz has released a new single, which is garnering a lot of attention as he strips off to almost nude in it. Oh, look at him. <laughs> I don't know what I'm what, um, TK421 plays tribute to Star Wars uh, with the title referring to an Imperial Stormtrooper who was stationed aboard the Death Star in George Lucas's iconic film TK421 is the first single of Kravitz's 12th studio album Blue Electric Light um, and it will be the star's first release in five years um, a press release for the project states that Kravitz created and recorded the album in his studio in the Bahamas, uh, writing and playing most of the instruments himself, along with longtime guitarist Craig Ross. I love the first Lenny Kravitz album. I think it's f***ing awesome. Uh, Let Love Rule is just full of brilliant songs. And I think he played most of that stuff himself. And it has that real sort of tapey, beautifully saturated sound to it. And I'm hoping that when I listen to this, it will have something similar to that. Um, for those of you who are unaware, Lenny Kravitz is an American singer, songwriter and actor known for his unique fusion of rock, funk, reggae, hard rock, soul and R and B. Um, he's 59 years old and has sold over 40 million albums worldwide. That's just, I can't believe he's 59. That's amazing. Okay, let's watch it. Okay. I love that synth part. It's, it's pedaling on an E. <laughs> We've all been there. Not, not for a... No. It's got a bit of princey vibe to that. I will promise you it will be fine. Come on, baby. So here's another thing about I always say this about YouTube. It's amazing. I'm not, not just saying that because I'm doing YouTube, but I just think it's awesome that you can do so much nudity, smoking, depictions of all sorts of things in videos now, and you don't get you don't get MTV people telling you you can't do it. It's fucking ace. We're living in a golden era for the visual medium. We really are, guys. We should be proud of ourselves. We've come a long way. Just reminded me of a 10cc, 10cc thing. Um, I, I was at the Ivan Novello's one year, and... Uh, 10CC were accepting an award for, you know, a legendary songwriting team. I think it's probably Godly and Cream. Uh, somebody read out a speech on their behalf, and it said, for a band that was named after the average uh, average volume of male ejaculate, we've come a long way. I, I thought it was good, anyway. So much TK41 Suicide Blonde <gasps> The In Excess song Su Suicide Blonde is a bit similar isn't it? Yeah, probably. Just a little bit. Okay, yeah, somebody told me about this and said it's probably about his penis but let's look past that for a minute and just think more about the musicality of it and how brilliantly, gloriously sculpted his body is. You know, I actually met uh, uh, Lenny Kravitz once on the red carpet at um, the Sp Spider-Man premiere. I think it was either Spider-Man 2 or 1. I'm not sure, really. And uh, that was in the days when I was drinking. And I remember walking in and uh, I was told, 
th- th- there were no drinks available or something like that. It was like a premiere. I was like, well, fuck this then. I'm I'm walking out. And then I, I went went off down back down the red carpet because I was like, I'm not, not going to sit there and watch fucking Spider-Man unless they're going to give me a glass of champagne or something. Why would I? And then on the way out, I saw I bumped into Lenny Kravitz. And uh turned out we just got on like a house on fire. He was a really cool guy. Loved him. But the funny thing was we were both wearing trousers that were made by the same person. Um, this weird sort of artist called Jordan uh, who made artisanal leather trousers. And his main two clients were myself and Sir Lenny of Kravitz. Um, but having seen what happened to his ones, it's probably better if I don't use them on stage. <laughs> Wouldn't you agree, guys? <laughs> yeah. Probably just stick to spandex. Right, should we watch the video? Yeah. All aboard, take it to the stratosphere. The congregation is alive. He's wearing about four different necklaces there, but you don't really notice those, do you? Because it's one necklace per very, very defined abdominal muscle. Uh, that's why I wear eight. <sighs> why am I doing this? Hey, those are the pants. He's wearing the pants. Can you feel it? I'm a TK421. Uh. It needs an uh there. TK421. Uh. Oh, that's, maybe that's too James Brownie if you do that there. I'm really enjoying this breakdown bit. I've got nothing to say about it. I'm just listening to it and enjoying it. I think when Len... When Len... <laughs> Len, <laughs> when Len Kravitz is in form, by God, there's no nobody better at this kind of stuff, you know. I mean, some of it can be treading water, but this is a really good funk breakdown bit. I'm just really enjoying it. There's a saxophone in there. He didn't play that, did he? And mind you, I think the more abdominal muscles you have, the better you are at saxophone. This is what I've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> but what I've always admired about Lenny Kravitz's studio work is his bass playing. I think, I think he's what we call a rude bass player. <laughs> like a really kind of simple D-eyed sound. It's probably like a, a Fender jazz bass or something like that. And it's just played really well with loads of attitude. I think he's, a, I think he's an underrated bassist. <laughs> If I had to guess. Yep, I was right. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm like, yeah, all right, Lenny. I'll just put my guitar down. Can you see the only other person I've seen wearing white cowboy boots recently is Matt Berry, the actor who plays uh, Toast of London. Um, and which one does he play? Les- is it Le? One of the one of the vampires um, in uh, what we do in the shadows. Um, I've seen him in white cowboy boots as streetwear. You got to respect it. Um, maybe I should start wearing. Wait, I have got some. Okay, I'm going to start wearing them. <laughs> all right, Lenny. See you on the red carpet, mate. Yeah, nice one. Same clothes, exactly. Yeah, all right, let's do it. Ugh. It needs it. You know, sometimes I listen to an Oasis record and I think, well, it needs this harmony. And, and on this occasion, TK421, was it again? TK421. <coughs> Lenny, if uh, you require a live uh, man uh, when you do this one on the road, uh, hit me up. Yeah. So much better my TK421. Yeah, I like it when he shreds his voice a bit. There's a period of Prince's career when it sounds like he's on the verge of developing polyps because he's screeching so much and it sounds like his voice is way overused. And It's actually around about the Purple Rain album, actually. And so, Sometimes when Lenny does that with his voice, it gives it that thing. He doesn't operate in his higher register usually, but um, it's just nice to hear it sort of saturate a bit and shred and you can sort of feel him giving it everything. <laughs> Enough about Lenny Kravitz's doesn't matter. And the whole thing could just remember. It could.
Yeah, that's good. That's Lenny Kravitz back in form, isn't it? Doing doing princey kind of simple stuff, really. I mean, it's just jamming on an E motif, um, saying stuff about his penis, and it's really cool. I love it. Justin Hawkins rides again. Oh, did I mention he's mostly naked in it as well? It's brilliant. Again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Watch one of these two videos and join the mailing list. Check out that beautiful man, Lenny Kravitz's latest offering, because it's actually really good. Nice one, guys. See you later. Again.